Hi everyone, we're so excited you're here to learn about viewing and analyzing data in an app. My name is Larissa and I'm part of the customer success team here at Kintone. I'll be walking you through this session today. This is a great training for anyone who will be a Kintone app builder because we'll go through how to create views and graphs within an app. After this training, you'll have all you need to display your data to your team. To review a brief agenda, today you'll learn about filtering and creating list views, creating reports with graphs, and displaying data to your team. To navigate to view settings from within an app, click the drop down to the right of the gear wheel and select views. A view is a filtered and sorted list of your Kintone records that allow you to easily start analyzing your data. By default, your app contains a single view called All Records. This contains all the records and fields in one list. Depending on the number of fields and records in your app, this view can quickly be overwhelming and not so useful. Creating views allows you to filter out your records to create a list of usable data. The types of views you can create will vary based on your needs and what you and your team need to see. From the Views tab in App Settings, you'll manage your views. Once views are created, this includes creating, deleting, editing, duplicating, and reordering how they display within the app. To create a new view, click plus and enter the view name. There are three types of views. List view will display a filtered and sorted list of your data based on conditions you set. Calendar view will display records in a calendar layout based on a date field and filter conditions. And custom view. This allows you to create a customized view using HTML. In this training, we'll focus on list views. Drag the fields you'd like displayed in the view from the left over to the right. To change the order of the fields, drag and drop them to the desired order. To delete a field, hover over the options icon in the column heading and click delete. Now we're ready to determine the records we'd like to be displayed in our view. Under filter and sort, apply conditions to display certain records in your view and display them in a certain order. In this example, we've created a view for all of our users with access to this app called My Open Tasks. Records will display in this view when the assignee is the logged in user and the status does not equal to complete. This means the person looking at the view will be able to see the records with tasks that are not complete. We've then decided to sort by the due date so it displays what needs to be completed the soonest. Other ways to filter data for everyday use for this app could be completed tasks, tasks due in the next week, and overdue tasks. The possibilities for views are endless and are key to keeping your team focused on the data they need to prioritize and successfully complete their tasks. In addition to using views, you can set notifications based on due dates as an extra alert that something needs to be done soon. You can find that in app settings under reminder notifications. Once complete, click save. You'll notice our new view now displays in the list. As you add more views, you can reorder how they display within the view dropdown. The view at the top is what will display as the default view when accessing the app. Now we'll click Update App to launch the changes. From within an app, your saved views will display in this View dropdown on the left. Just select the view you'd like to review. You can also create new views from within the app by clicking the funnel icon. As someone with app management permission, you'll be able to save the new filter or just apply to view the data. The filter funnel is available to all users with access to the app, but they will only be able to apply the filters and will not be able to save unless they have permission to manage the app settings. If your other users do have a personal view they'd like to see, they can apply their filter and create a bookmark by selecting the star icon, click plus, 
name and click OK. Next, let's go back to our app settings and take a look at graphs. Graphs allow you to visually represent and summarize data from within an app. Graphs you create are added to the list of graphs that users can view in the app. Kintone graphs are live and update as the data in the app changes. If you'd like to see a snapshot of data every hour, day, month, or another interval, you can set periodic reports to compare data points at different times. From the Graphs tab in App Settings, you'll manage your graphs. Once graphs are created, this includes creating, deleting, editing, duplicating, and reordering how they display within the app. To create a new graph, click plus. Under name, we'll name our graph. Select the graph type. A few popular graph types we have are column charts, tables, and pivot tables. Some types will have additional options such as clustered or stacked. You can find more details on the different chart types in our Kintone Help Center. In the Group by Field in the Level 1 drop-down list, select a field by which to group records. Use this when you want to categorize and summarize records. By using a date and time field, you can summarize records by month, day, and so on. You can add up to three levels for group by. If you'd like to delete a level, just click X. In the function field, you can select a function that performs a calculation. Depending on the fields chosen in group by, this could include count, sum, average, maximum, and minimum. In the filter section, you can select a field or fields to filter the graph by to define what records are included. In the sort by field, you can leave this as the default, which is total, or sort by one of the levels in the group by field. Then just select whether to display the data in ascending or descending order. In this example, you'll be able to review all tasks that are due this week and are not marked as completed for every assignee. This could be useful to a manager to ensure the team is on track to complete their tasks on time. Before we save this graph, notice this Generate Reports Periodically checkbox at the bottom to create a periodic report. Periodic reports allow you to see a snapshot of data at a pre-specified time interval. These graphs are saved to the list of graphs within an app, and the 30 most recent graphs are saved and can be accessed anytime. Let's go ahead and save our graph and update app. From within an app, your saved graphs will display in this graph drop-down on the left. Just select the graph you'd like to review. You can also create new graphs from within the app by clicking the column chart icon. As someone with app management permission, you'll be able to save the new graph or just apply to view. The graph icon is available to all users with access to the app, but they will only be able to create a temporary graph and will not be able to save a graph to the graphs dropdown unless they have permission to manage in the app settings. If your other users do have a personal graph they'd like to save, they can configure a graph and create a bookmark the same as we did for a view. Not only can you have this data listed from the app, you can also add it to announcement boards to be easily viewable and accessible to the entire team. This includes the portal home announcements and within any space. Since this is the customer success team's tasks, let's navigate to the customer success space and add it in there. Only space admins can edit announcement boards. Click the edit icon, click attach app, Search for the app the data is from, and then select a view or graph from the dropdowns. Notice the graphs we've created today are displayed. Next, we'll choose the sizing. You can always edit and change this later. Let's add in a view and a graph. Once it's all set, click Save. 
Now the data is displayed on the customer success space announcement board for all space members who have access to the app and space to see. This concludes our training on viewing and analyzing data in an app.